the hungry frog. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, near Galway city lived a very wise salmon. He loved to tell stories and because he was very old and very wise, he had the most fantastic stories ever. My favourite story is the one he told me about the hungry frog. Now, just before the spot where our story begins, the hungry frog was in fact a very successful tadpole. He was really good at being a tadpole. He could swim really well and always had plenty of food. But now things had changed. He'd gotten older and become a very hungry frog. But he had a problem. No matter what he did, he couldn't catch any flies to eat. Oh, he cried, ribbit, 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 which is frog for, I'm so hungry. When I was a tadpole, I just swam after my food. But now, when I chase after the flies, well, they just fly away. And with that, another buzzing fly appeared, and Mr. Frog made a giant leap forward after the fly, and splash! He missed him completely and made a huge amount of noise. Well, this woke up wise old Mr. Salmon, who was asleep nearby. Mr. Frog, yelled the salmon, you're after waking me up with all of your jumping around. I'm really sorry, said Mr. Frog, but I'm so hungry and I can't catch any flies. Mr. Frog, said the salmon, everybody wonders how come I've never been caught by all the fishermen who come from all over the world to catch me. And the reason is, I watch them and what they do. Why don't you do the same? And with that, he disappeared under the water. So Mr. Frog began to watch the fishermen and started to notice that the fishermen stayed really still in the river. And they practiced letting the line out and they were so patient. And then the fish didn't even realize what the fisherman was doing. That was when he caught them. So Mr. Frog changed what wasn't working for him and stayed really still on the lily pad. But he watched everything the flies were doing. He noticed how they buzzed around and how quickly they moved away from what they didn't like. And he discovered just how close they came when they were relaxed and calm. Mr. Frog watched and watched, even though his tummy was rumbling. Eventually, a fly came really close and... <coughs> Mr. Frog went to catch the fly, but the fly was too fast for him. Oh, I'll never be able to do this, he cried. Never, came Mr. Salmon's voice from behind him. Believe in yourself, Mr. Frog. Trust yourself. Remember what a successful tadpole you were. Watch what the fisherman does. Practice makes progress. Take your time. Play out your line. Wait a second before you strike. So Mr. Frog waited and practiced being still. And sure enough, very soon another fly came buzzing around. Mr. Frog watched and waited. And then... <laughs> Well, he caught the most delicious fly ever. And from that day on, by practicing what he had learned so easily from Mr. Salmon, Mr. Frog became the fattest frog on the lake. And if you're ever in Galway, look out for him on one of the islands. And as for the wise old Mr. Salmon, well, he and all of his wise knowledge is there too.